I really am seeing now a move towards firms employing on the basis of personality more than qualifications. At the end of the day, you can teach someone the law. The law is written down in books. It's you, know, you can read it, you can research it, you can find it out. What you can't teach someone to do is to fit into your business and how they're going to work. And I think I think if people focus on that and focus on making themselves that person who would someone would want to employ, being that person who always says yes, being that person who's willing to to put their hand up and say, yeah, I'll, I'll go and do that. I'll, I'll go and put myself out of my comfort zone to make your business better. Uh, I think that the the opportunity is there for them now. Absolutely. Dave, this is probably a really good time to come to you to talk yeah, about so, different moves into law from a qualification point of view. Absolutely. I, I agree completely with what Helena and uh, Christopher uh, are saying, actually. And it's, it's interesting that within the School of Law at South Devon College, where we're trying to <clears throat> promote that ethos of inclusivity and diversity, uh, within our students and in terms of if you want to work within the law <clears throat> then we have the, the two routes essentially that the kind of traditional academic route and the more vocational route that, that Chris has alluded to for both you know for, for the traditional academic route we have the foundation degree in law that, that you study for two years with us then you progress to Plymouth University for the third and final year or into year two of the LLB and then obviously as Chris stated you know you go and do go on to do your uh, LPC and then training contract. Alternatively, and we're finding it very popular at, at the moment, is to uh, progress through the vocational route, which is Silex, the Chartered Institute of Legal Executives. You know, and with us, you can qualify as a Chartered Legal Executive by taking both the level three and then the level six courses. Uh, each are two years part time, one afternoon a week. Um, and you can also do that or do complete those qualifications under the Chartered Legal Executive Apprenticeship. Uh, we also offer the paralegal apprenticeship over 18 months, and that's another route within into the legal profession. And if you're someone who thinks that maybe law is, is for you, but you, you want to dip your toe into the water, we have a very short level two legal studies course that runs for 14 weeks and that's a blended delivery. So most of that is online with only a few face-to-face -face sessions. But either route, um, and as I said, especially the vocational route is becoming very popular. And we know talking to employees, especially within the Bay, that that is a preferred route within that uh, uh, legal sector. 